Good morning! Good morning! Good morning to all the digital natives out there. Hi and welcome to another exciting, joyful, and meaningful session here in eTech TV. Information is truly only a mouse click away. Personal computers, smartphones, and other digital devices can access information at any time and from any location. However, majority of the internet users are suffering from the information overload, which has a negative impact on the quality of information they consume. They frequently treat information found on the internet as facts, even if it is simply the author's opinion. But before we proceed, let's have a review first of our previous lesson. We've heard from our previous lessons about the various cyber risks that we can face online. If we post too much information about ourselves, we can be a victim of identity theft. If we enter our bank details on phishing sites, our savings on our bank account may be compromised or jeopardized. Our computer may slow down if we are not careful to download content from unreliable websites. And also, you can mention about your significant learnings last session by simply uh, put your comment below. Uh, we also shortly tackled how to how to protect or to have a protection online and how to avoid copyright infringement by always asking permission or giving credit to the original author of the page or information. So this next to topics is very applicable and very timely, especially to all of you. Ask me why. Later, we will discover why. I have a question for you. My question is, when you search by the questions uh, Google or any other search engine, are you typing or encoding the whole question on the search box? Are you sure that you get your answer from the reliable sources? Are the authors of article you get your answers from are credible? Or are these articles listed on the search results are relevant to your questions? So, yun yung mga ilan sa mga tanong that we will learn, that we will going to find answer. So, tara, samahan nyo ko sa paghanap ng mga sagot doon sa mga tanong na yun. Are you now ready? So, online search and research are more than just Googling. Typing a word in Google and then clicking the search button, it is a skill that every internet user should know to do a smart searching and this starts with improving search and research skills to get better results. Here are the things that you need to know to improve your online search and research skills. Perhaps this is the answer to all your queries regarding how to have an effective strategies in searching online and this will guide you to obtain the most relevant information that you need so number one when you or when searching online narrow your topic Ident identify kung ano yung mga key concept or important ideas uh, assuming that you would like to search for the answer to this question what precautionary measures should you observe when you are logged in in a public computer? Okay? Do not type the whole question in the search box. Kasi madalas ganun yung ginagawa natin. We type the whole question in a search box. No, that should not be the case. 
typing the whole question often leads to a larger number and if inappropriate information search results. Uh, from the questions, use keywords. When we say keywords, are the terms that are used in by most search engines to find related documents. For example, sa term natin kanina, ano yung mga keywords doon? So, yung term na precautionary measures, observe, log in, and public computer. So, pwede yung gamitin mo for uh, searching to narrow down the search results. Second, you have to put the word N between each keyword to create a search string. So, you may type the following in the search box. Precautionary measures N, observe N, log in N, public computer. You will notice a decrease in search results as shown below. So, makikita mo na, oh, that's right. So, kumonte yung, yung search results compared doon sa, you will type the entire questions in the search box. Number three, identify synonyms of the keywords. Uh, not all databases or articles use the same words to describe a topic. Group similar words together by using the word, I don't word, the word or for a quick and relevant search. In the case of our example, the synonyms of some of the keywords are precautionary, so preventive measures. Yung sa precautionary, preventive measures, observe, pay attention to, log in, sign in. You may Type the following in the search box. So, precautionary measure, uh, measures or preventive measures. And observe or pay attention to and log in or sign in and public computer. So, pag ganin yung tinipe mo, this gives you another search results. Ayan. Next, number four is review the first pages return. Okay? If these, if these are not helpful, change the keyword for a better description. Change the keyword for the better description. In this case, you may remove the phrase pay attention to and then type the following in the search box. Precautionary measures or preventive measures and observe and log in or sign in and public computer. This gives you another set of search results. So that's it. We need to review over and over again so that we can find the appropriate information and relevant information that we need. If you think you have found uh, what you are searching for, then you might stop there or Otherwise, you may proceed with these other techniques. So, ano pa yung mga ibang techniques? Uh, number five, use the plus sign for a more specific search. Just type plus sign before a keyword to indicate that the word after the sign is required is a required word that must be found in the search. Example, plus preventive measures. So, meaning, this is a required word. Number six, kanina we have used plus sign. We can also use minus sign for a more specific search. If you want to exclude, tanggalin, a word from your search, place a minus sign just before, uh, without a space, uh, that the word you want to exclude. Example, public computers, then you want to remove personal, so you just put the minus sign before the personal. That's it. Next, number seven, use wild cards for a broader search. Uh, pag sinabi natin wild cards, so these are the asterisk sign or the star symbol. So ito kasi, let you find uh, variations of a word. Example, measure. So, ang makikita niya is those words na measure, measures, 
So, different variation na yung ending word no measure. Next, number eight. Use quotation marks. Saan natin ginagamit? To find phrases or name. So, enclose the phrase or the names that you want to search in quotation marks. Example, precautionary measure. So, just simply put the quotation marks. Next, number nine, you have to use several search engines. Do not just confine with one search engine like Google, like uh, Mozilla Firefox. So, because search engines are programs that look for documents based from specific keywords and return these documents where the keywords were found. Major search engines, ang sinabi ko kanina, yung Google, the Yahoo, which uses Google also, and also the, we have Alta Vista and many more. We have Bing and Lycos. So, that's it. You can use them in finding and looking for information online. And those are some of the tips on how you will improve your search over the internet.